We know more about the solar system than ever before. However, more must be discovered. Astronomers believe that there may be a vast, strange planet in the remote regions of our solar system that has not yet been found. This is likely a ninth planet, and no, it is not Pluto. Many research teams are currently hunting for signs of the existence of this fictitious planet beyond Neptune. As part of their hunt for Planet 9, NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer and the NEOWISE mission have used infrared scans to check for a weak heat signature from the planet. Let's take a quick look at some of their discoveries. Several astronomers have proposed that the gravitational pull of a giant, undiscovered planet may account for the odd orbits of certain minor planets in the outer solar system. This is still disputed, and other potential explanations exist for these findings. One possibility is that it is an exotic black hole composed of dark matter. A recent preprint suggests that it could be possible to locate it by looking at the moons it has accumulated through time. That would explain many strange phenomena seen in the Kuiper Belt, objects further out than Neptune. It's not entirely out there to think this hypothetical planet may have snagged a few moons. A population of Pluto-sized bodies, known as trans-Neptunian objects, populates the space where we believe Planet 9 to be situated. Planet 9, with a mass around 5 to 10 times that of Earth, might have easily attracted and held many TNOs inside its gravitational field. According to Konstantin Batygin, a member of the team looking for Planet 9 at the California Institute of Technology, there are currently five separate lines of observational evidence pointing to the presence of Planet Nine. Removing this justification and imagining Planet Nine doesn't exist leads to more issues than it resolves. You find yourself suddenly faced with five distinct mysteries, each of which requires a different explanation. In a 2016 report by Batigan and co-author Mike Brown, Six Kuiper Belt objects that exhibit peculiar behavior were described in detail. They used mathematical calculations and computer modeling, although they had yet to observe the item firsthand. Brown claims that the hypothetical ninth planet is so massive, about 5,000 times Pluto's mass, there should be no question as to whether it is a legitimate planet. The object circles the Sun on average 20 times further away than Neptune and has a mass around 10 times that of Earth, which orbits the Sun at an average distance of 2.8 billion miles. In fact, only one complete circle of the Sun would take this new planet between 10,000 and 20,000 years to complete. The gravitational center of the solar system is dominated by Planet Nine, unlike the group of smaller bodies today referred to as dwarf planets. It controls a more extensive area than any of the other planets currently known, which in Brown's words makes it the most planety of the planets in the whole solar system. They all have elliptical orbits that point in the same general direction and have the same tilt. Both of these characteristics point to Planet Nine's existence. Astronomers consider the planet a super-Earth, the giant rocky planet prevailed in the cosmos but strangely absent from our solar system due to the behavior of these far-off planets. The planet may have formed near the Sun and then been hurled away over millions of years, solidified in the coldest parts of our system or even been snatched up by the Sun from another system. Many more worlds with more severe tilts from the solar plane on the order of 90 degrees should also exist, according to computer models that included the hypothetical planet. Five of these objects are known to astronomers, therefore nature matches the simulations. Planet Nine's existence would also help explain why the plane in which the other planets circle the Sun is slanted around 6 degrees away from its equator. Due to Planet Nine's far-off gravity, the plane of the solar system as a whole has become off-center through time. 
the Kuiper Belt contains celestial bodies that orbit in the exact opposite direction to everything else in our solar system. To continue looking for Planet 9, Batigan and Brown are utilizing Hawaii's Mauna Kea Observatory's Subaru telescope. Batigan says that using this telescope to look for anything faint and far away in the vastness of the sky is the finest option now available. In a more recent research published in 2021, they reduced how long the planet will take to cycle the Sun to an estimated 7,400 years and concluded that Planet 9 could be closer, brighter, and more straightforward to discover than previously believed. After the study's publication in the Astronomical Journal, Mike Brown said, I believe it's within a year or two from being detected. Before adding, I've made that comment every year for the previous five years. I have a lot of optimism. If Planet 9 were to be discovered, it would be the solar system's first massive planet to be identified in more than 175 years. But if it does, why have we yet to have concrete proof of it? How difficult can it be to discover anything orbiting our solar that is 10 times the size of Earth? Even with the abundance of equipment and research available today, astronomers rarely locate a single object in the dark reaches of space. Even with a telescope pointed in the appropriate direction, it would be exceedingly challenging to view Planet 9 due to its enormous orbit, making it unlikely to reflect much light from the Sun. Although some scientists are confident that Planet 9 exists, Others are skeptical, thinking that the peculiar orbits of planets beyond Neptune are coincidences or results from misinterpreted data. Despite all these, the identity of this planet remains a mystery, as no one has been able to find it or prove that it is indeed a planet. Nevertheless, Man Ho Chan, an astronomer at the Education University of Hong Kong, thinks he has a technique to prove its existence. He claims that the moons of Planet 9 are the answer to the unsolved mystery. Combining the world's alleged size and gravity with the number of extreme trans-Neptunian objects that were near enough to be drawn into a stable orbit around it, he calculated the number of natural satellites that may be orbiting the planet. According to Chan, the hypothetical planet might have up to 20 moons, each of which could be around 62 miles 100 kilometers, large. He thinks these could shed light on Planet 9 because of a gravitational phenomenon known as tidal heating. Closer to home, the gravitational tug-of-war between Jupiter's moons and the planet itself causes the natural satellites to be stretched and compressed to the point where they get heated. This implies that the innards of several of the ice moons are warm enough to support seas of water and that tidal heating causes rock on the rocky moon to melt into lava. If the moons are visible, they should provide a trail for astronomers to follow to the hidden planet. The alleged planet is too far away to be well lighted by the sun, so it cannot be seen on its own. Still, mathematical modeling indicates that a huge object is responsible for at least five smaller objects' distinctive orbits in the far Kuiper belt. Any discussion of Planet 9's possible moons is theoretical, as there is no clear evidence to substantiate its existence in our solar system. However, the ninth planet actually exists. In that case, it will likely have a system of moons, like many other planets in our solar system. But if the ninth planet truly exists, why has this evidence of its existence yet to be verified? Overall, the hunt for Planet 9 is still active and certainly won't end anytime soon. Technological and observational advancements may one day allow astronomers to locate and confirm the existence of this mysterious planet. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.